have children when I grow up. Maybe. Depends if you want them. G'day you cheeky dogs, today we're going to be talking Bluey Theory, specifically from the brand new Bluey episode, surprise, the finale for season 3. And we are of course going to be talking about that flash forward scene that we saw at the end where not only do we see Bluey all grown up with grey hairs of her own, but we also saw Chili wearing glasses, Bandit returned the mullet again, which was obviously his favourite hairstyle. Oh, the house is looking good. Thanks. Can you believe Dad almost sold it? <laughs> are you ever going to let that go? But of course, we got a brand new baby healer mix breed puppy. And I guess not so much a baby, but definitely around toddler age of about three or four. So we're going to be discussing who is that toddler's mum and dad. Hello? Huh. No one. That's weird. Oh, no. Now, I think quite obviously the mum is Bluey because that's sort of the whole point of this episode surprise. Like, it starts off with her asking her mum if she's going to have children when she grows up. Will I have children when I grow up? Maybe. Depends if you want them. What is having children like? Oh, well... So the episode is very much setting this up for us. We also, of course, see the scene of her doing the same door gag with her father. And we see that exact same scene then with that new little mixed breed healer at the front of the door. So of course, it basically, it's just lining up that, yeah, Bluey is obviously that little toddler's mum. Hello? Huh? Uh-oh. Hello? Huh. No one. That's weird. Oh, no. But of course, who is the dad? And it is a mixed breed puppy, so we know it's not a healer, but we do kind of have maybe two possible candidates within the Bluey verse. And that is of course, Mackenzie and Jean-Luc. Now I'm gonna start off with all the Jean-Luc theories behind this, because of course, that's the only other flash forward scene we've seen of Bluey before, with them at the end of camping. Bye Jean-Luc, see you tomorrow. No, à demain matin. Hello Bluey. Now, Jean-Luc is technically a black lab, but he is coloured purple, of course, in the show to, you know, create a bit more vibrancy. And this little healer is definitely purple toned. Like, it's not like the bright blues or light blues like Bluey or even her dad or even Uncle Rad either. It's definitely more like purpley kind of colour. So I could see where that link would come in. Jean-Luc's ears are also, of course, folded over, whereas Bluey's are sticking up. And this little toddler does have one ear that sticks up and the other one that just kind of little bit folds over. So you could say that maybe that would be where it counts, but honestly, I think the ear folded over is a nod to a different character. There once were two six-year-old buddies floating around. And that is, of course, Mackenzie, who, to be honest, I 110% believe is definitely the dad of this little pup. So here's the evidence behind it. The first bit of evidence being that ABC, the network that broadcast Bluey in Australia, they, when they release Blue episodes, always release them in two sets. And the episode right after this was, of course, Barky Boats, where it is foreshadowing Bluey and Mackenzie getting married. What is it? Ooh, Bluey's gonna marry Mackenzie. No, she's not. This whole episode, Barky Boats, of course, is about Bluey and Mackenzie and their paralleling storylines with Captain and Mia. And Captain and Mia obviously are like sorting through their feelings for each other and just general feelings, of course, about the future as well. Are you nervous about starting high school? A little. Me too. At least we'll be there together. And I do love that this episode shows that like, even though Bluey and Mackenzie were like, eh, gross, getting married, which is a very typical kid response. At the very end, you can see that Bluey like is okay with showing her happiness and her caring towards Mackenzie. See you, Mackenzie. See you, Bluey. There is also, of course, the other episode, Fruit Bat, which is like one of my first like very popular videos. And that's because in the dream sequence, the only other person she dreams about, aside from her family, is Mackenzie. So perhaps a bit of like subliminal messaging happening there. Thanks as well to the episode Creek and Curry Quest, we know that Mackenzie does live close by to the healers, that they're all family friends as well. And the Creek was just a really lovely episode actually of seeing the two of them, where they obviously hang out all the time, like on the weekends and together. So again, like, they're not just friends from school, like they're childhood friends as well. It's just like jumping from one sheep to another. We don't jump on sheep, Mackenzie. Really? 
But let's talk about the design features that make Mackenzie look very similar to this little toddler. And we're gonna start off with toddler Mackenzie from the episode Space because when you put them together, they look so similar. They both have that one bent over ear. The toddler healer here has fluffy hair on her head and sides. And Mackenzie as well also has fluffy hair on the side of their head. Mackenzie as well also has a white nose and this little puppy definitely has closer to a white nose as well. Of course, there are features that are similar to Bluey's as well. Like this toddler healer has yellow inner ears, just like Bluey. And the color cuts off at the wrist and the ankles just like Bluey's color cuts off as well. And the tail, it's kind of like a mixture. I think the tail looks almost the same as Bluey's tail, but it does look fluffy as well, just like Mackenzie's and not at all like Jean-Luc's tail either. And the little toddler healer also has the same nose outline that Bluey does too. And they look happily ever after. But cheeky dogs, let me know in that comment section down below, who do you think is the father of this mixed breed toddler healer? I, yeah, I believe that it is Mackenzie. I think that this is a border healer or a border collie blue healer. I'm not quite sure what the proper name is for it, but even in real life, these mixed puppies are so, so, so cute. And again, it's just another way of them showing mixed breeds and some more like diversity within the show by showing that this is who Bluey ends up having as a child when she gets older. Now I will of course be talking about all of the Easter eggs and the fantastic like future references that are in this episode. So if you want to see that video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button and that bell for notifications. So you know when I bring that video out, it will be somewhere within this next week. I plan on kind of dedicating this next week all to the Easter egg video. So all the Easter eggs and Australian references from the Bluey episode, The Sign, as well as all the references in this episode surprise as well. And I of course have more theories coming out too. But until then I have picture cheeky dogs out a few other videos that maybe you would like to watch and I will see you all in another video. Mwah! Bye!